Crow's laughing at you. Don't film this. Uh -huh. All right, so we are in Williamswood, uh, about 25 minutes outside of Halifax. Today I'm on the fly rod. If you guys haven't checked out the last video of Kyle uh, slaying them up in uh, Stewie, I should definitely go check that out. So yesterday after work, Kyle and I went to uh, Bass Pro Shops and we went to the fly section so he could pick up a couple flies for today. We saw a really nice deal for a little kit. You know, nothing too crazy. It was like 50% off or something like that. So uh, he convinced me after his video that he posted there a couple days ago. I got to try it out. So today we're learning. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how I do with this. I'm always looking forward to learning new stuff when it comes to fishing and everything. We'll see how this goes. Beautiful day. Not much of a breeze. A little bit of slow running water here. Going to bust out the fly rod for a little bit. Uh, keep getting a little bit more practice in. I know we're all fairly new with the fly rod so it's going to be a good experience to get out and have everything be a little bit slower moving good conditions today a lot of sun in the sky so see what we can hook into and for everybody that says the vest is for old grandpas you're completely wrong i'm just going to say that right now drip that's it drip or drown baby i'm hitting the rod too today the fly rod just the same setup i used last time my last video there had some good success on that so we're gonna try to get that again here on this uh river down by uh run lake where i did another video at so we know there's trout in the area so these rivers connect to the lakes that i was catching uh, trout in the other day there over at run lake so hopefully it's a good chance uh these rivers might have uh some nice color for trout like we caught in the other uh the other lake there so we're gonna test it out and see everyone's rocking the flies today here and we're gonna we're gonna see how we uh, how we do and there's also a new addition we've got two cameras now so twice as much footage twice as much fun let's get let's go so boys we were just walking up to the river here we just saw something jump as soon as we started walking up so there's lots of flies out already it's probably about uh 10 30 right now the flies are swarming around There's not much current here, so I'm going to try to strip it, kind of give it some action because it's it wouldn't be drifted naturally in a current, so I kind of had to act like it's floating on the top, swimming around. Yeah, it's the memory in the line of the tippet. You're going way too far back. You go to 10. There you go. There, let that sit. I had a bite. Yeah. So there, uh, we've seen a couple jump here. They seem to be hitting the big flies on the top water. So I'm going to switch back up to a dry fly, ones I was using the other day. See if we can't get one on. Got this little dry fly on there, seem to be hitting it. Oh, one just jumped right there. That's where I'm going, top fly right there. I'm literally sitting on a floating bank here. Lift your elbow up. Oh, he's pretty. Is he? Yeah, he's got nice colors. You gotta take a picture of him, I'll put it in. Oh, I just had a. Oh. No. I just had a big top water hit. He missed it though. Little chickadees are out. There's like there's a five or six in that tree over there. Big, that was a big one too. Come on. Oh my God. You gotta be f***ing me. Yeah, well, cause he jumped up. Look, mother f***er. Yeah, I caught him over there at the end of the run there. Nice little spot. Got me right here in the little deep area. They're jumping up like crazy. Missed a couple, already had two bites. Being back over here is getting some. He caught one there, but lost it. And uh, went to do a cast, real fell in the water, but you know, got it back up, we're good to go. So we're gonna see if we can land one here. We haven't got one on film yet. Uh, they keep falling off. I've missed two strikes here and they've been taunting me ever since. So I'm, I'm determined now and I don't wanna leave. Look at that right behind you. Look right at the top of you. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, <laughs> Go bro, did you get that? Oh my God. 
fish. Nice. Fish. Yeah! That's a nice dark one. Beautiful hook right in the corner of the mouth. I love it. If I can get it off from here. There we go. That's a decent sized guy. Looks like a male. Beautiful. Alright, we're gonna let this guy go. There he goes. Nice topwater strike. Dry fly does it again. BMAC watched the whole entire thing on his side. Oh! I did. Man, the feeling you get when you can see it and you set it and then you, you get the tug. The tug is the draw, Gake. Right, Colton? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Little POV change here. Kyle handed over the GoPro. We're going to see what it looks like from uh, this side and see how, how beginner my uh, fly rod techniques are. Just hammer it. Just hammer it. Yeah, right on. Right on. Guess where that's going. Guess where that's going. Starting to get casting figured out, but we're going to see what happens uh, in terms of reeling in if I get something on. Had a nice little jolt in the line, but nobody wants to take it, I guess. We're just going to keep firing at that little white kind of foamy stream there. Because the food must be coming from the little waterfall, and it's going to trickle through all the way through to right here. In and out, in and out, in and out. Yo! Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. It's only a little guy. Come here, you beauty. Hopefully he doesn't sneak through the old uh, net like everybody else is. Excuse me, little fella. There we go. That was painful. Let's get a good look at this fella. Oh, huh? Look at the nice spots on him. All right, you little buddy. Um, so that's been an issue the last little bit. I don't know why they would ever make these so big, but yeah, that, I mean, that was going to be a nice underwater release, but he escaped. Slipped so. through the holes. But you know what? That's two on the board, so we're, we're, we're not doing too bad so far. Yeah, we've had pretty good success. We're just about to leave this spot. Uh, we're trying to take a picture for the uh, thumbnail, and they're jumping all around here. So I might chuck another another cast in just just for fun. So we'll see how that goes. I uh, I'm at the bottom of the leaderboard for catches today, but it's just good to get out, get some practice in with the fly rods, bust them up for a little bit, and uh, yeah, hope we can turn the lock around when we go around the bend here. Ooh. I'm gonna get off this rock and sink about a foot and a half. Um, we're doing pretty good so far. What time is it? One o'clock. We've been out here for three hours, four hours. Starting to get the hang of this thing. I'm sure I'll hear all about my technique uh, in the comment section. Like I said, it's my first time out with it and I'm impressed with it so far. It's a lot of fun. A lot more patience than throwing out a spoon or something like that. Just, we're going to come down this little hill. There's a bunch of rocks right there. We're probably going to avoid that. It's pretty dense down there uh, tree wise. So we might try kind of in here underneath the tunnel ish area. And then if we can get all the way down there, kind of around that corner, we're going to try that out. But we only have a few more hours left because Diz has to go home. So we're going to get it figured out. Hopefully.
There he goes, back in. Colton's on the board. I'm on the board. Oh, that's a better one. Holy. Yeah, it's good. I got both these ones, quick. Does it show us up? Oh, yeah. Corner in the mouth, too. Beauty. So we switched the fly up a bit. They're hitting top water here really good. They weren't going after what I was throwing there, but they're jumping right around it. So I'm, this one here, a little bit of gray shading on the wings. Seems to be what they're kind of hitting. So we're going to try our luck out with this. See if we can't get one on the board. Bro. What the f Oh my lord. One big one right there. They're all going crazy. Holy. Look at that. Oh. He went for it. He went for it. Dude. Yeah, I didn't have enough lineup. As soon as it landed, I was going to go. Bro. Oh. Oh, good one. That is a good one. Come on. Holy. That is a pretty. Hello, baby. Pretty. A lot darker than the ones I got. This will get them unhooked here for me. One of the mouth, a little bit of blood, but. You. Yep. Well, it's been a really good day on the river, actually. Uh, some parts more frustrating than others. I think we've probably seen 50 jumps and no take. Probably more, you could correct me on that. I don't know if we're gonna be able to count them off, but a lot of active fish. Weather conditions almost perfect. There's a little bit of a gusting wind in the picks up that uh, kind of disrupts things, but for the most part, it's been a beautiful day out here. Lots of beautiful catches, lots of nice fish to show. A lot of them are small. A lot of these jumps you see around here. Kyle had a decent one there a few minutes ago, so definitely a spot I think we're going to come back to this summer. So. Revisit with the changing weather, see how it looks as we progress through the seasons. Really warm water temp wise, but as things fall and as the seasons change, I think we think our luck will go up and down, but it's always going to be a place to revisit. Let's hope it goes up. Let's go, but yeah, up, up is ideal. Uh, we definitely don't want it to get worse than it's been today. Yeah. <laughs> So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We got a nice count of fish on the board today. You got some experience on the fly rod. Nice, beautiful day on the river. Sun is shining. We'll see you in the next one. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. The tug is the drug. <laughs>